today I'm reviewing the Thayer's Hydrating Milky Face Toner, a snow mushroom. And really quick, I just want to say I purchased all these products with my own money. I'll never waste your time with sponsored ads or videos. So if that's something you're into, like, subscribe, share the video, check out the links below, or check out my Patreon community. Okay, so uh, oof, a couple months ago, three or four months ago, I was at the store and I walked by this and I tried their other one. And honestly, wasn't too terribly impressed with this one, but I looked at the ingredients in this and I thought, you know what, I should give it a try. And I did. So anyway, uh, overall, I kind of en ended up enjoying it. So anyway, this one with witch hazel, it's not really good for sensitive skin. So if you have sensitive skin, uh, I'd recommend the milky face toner. It's just the witch hazel can be sensitizing for some people. It's good astringent and have some antioxidant properties, but... What else did this one have in it that I wasn't a big fan of? Uh, grapefruit seed extract. Oh, and then it had some fragrance and anyway, so yeah. So sensitive skin, this one's a little bit more friendly. Okay, so you know what? I, I, the award show is great. I Everyone said they liked my dress. One person did not like my dress. And then I thought, well, you know what? I'm not really good at dressing myself on a daily basis. Like if it's shiny, I pick it up. <laughs> So anyway, so I'm not very good at fashion because if it's shiny or sparkly, I'm like a five-year-old. Like, hey, I want it. Sparkles, shiny, diamonds, whatever. Sparkles. Anyway, so <laughs> that's my defense on this situation. And that's why I picked this one out because it's shiny and sparkly and I was drawn to it like a five-year-old. So anyway, okay. <laughs> no offense to five-year-olds. I really don't want to offend them because now I feel like I have offended them. Most five-year-olds have better taste in clothes than I do. <laughs> okay, so they say the Thayer's Milky Hydrating Toner helps skin feel cushioned while removing impurities. pH balanced milky toner helps to tone skin without disrupting its moisture bear. It's gentle, creamy, hydrating face toner. Blend with snow mushroom, hyaluronic acid, and elderflower water soaks into skin, hydrating skin, and boosting moisture levels by 35%. And generally, when they say percentages like boosting skin, Moisture levels by 35%. Take that as not meaning anything because they don't really have to prove it. It's not regulated by anybody. So something they just kind of, they might have done one study on and said, oh, 35%, let's go with it. It doesn't mean anything. Okay, and if you recall, if you did see my award show, this is one of the nominees because it's super affordable and uh, cruelty-free and it's got a lot of good things going for it. So, and I will also do the pH, do a pH test as well in a minute here. So, Okay, first criteria packaging. It is a clear plastic bottle. It's got a really nice dispenser on the top. So you don't end up dumping out the entire contents in the first use, which has happened to me with certain other toners. Uh, now the certain toners that don't have a top like this, I just assume they're gonna have like some sort of a spout and then I end up dumping it out. I can't remember which one it was, but anyway, it's kind of sad because I, anyway. So, okay, so I like this. I think it's recyclable. Well got some picture on it well yeah it's I don't know I'm not sure if it's recyclable or not it should be well bring it to Sephora because I think certain Sephora's will take any beauty stuff okay in terms of denatured drying types of alcohol it does not contain any of those it's also fragrance free and has no real noticeable scent to it which is nice uh, the manufacturing location for this one is US so no issues with that so I'll do a quick pH test I love these pH strips. These are Mashray Nagel. I've tried a couple different brands and these are my by far the easiest to read. So let's do a little pH test. So they said it was pH balanced. Okay, so I would say the pH of this one looks like it's right around five. Oops, I wanna get under this camera. I'd say it's almost five exactly, so no issues with that. Skin's natural pH is usually around, I don't know, it depends on the person, but between five and seven. Uh, okay, so texture this one, it's really hydrating. So you can apply this with a cotton pad if you want. You don't have to. Or you can just pat it onto your skin after cleansing. And, uh, or you could use it with a cotton pad if you, a lot of people like sometimes like if I'm lazy and I didn't feel like I did the best job cleaning, especially if I'm washing my face over the sink, my back's a mess. It hurts, I wanna be done with it as fast as possible. Then you can use a cotton pad or now they make those new recyclable cotton pads or sometimes they'll just use the corner of a washcloth and then I get multiple uses out of it. So you can do it either way, whichever one works. And anyway, smooth it over skin, 
give it a second to soak in and then move on to your serum step, moisturizer, all that good stuff. So anyway, it feels really nice on the skin. Once it soaks in, it sets to a natural finish that is non-sticky, super easy to use, super wonderful texture. And uh, yeah, so really nice to add into your routine. And that's Thayer's recommendation. Use it morning and evening, one or the other, whichever one you prefer or both. Uh, and a little bit of it goes a very long way. So this bottle will last you forever. I've been using this one for a long time now and I'm still barely down. So certain ones, if they're a super liquidy toner, I'll go through them super fast. But if they're a little bit thicker, it will take me forever. And I guess that makes sense. Okay, so antioxidants and beneficial ingredients. So we've got a silver ear mushroom extract, polysaccharide which is sugar molecules derived from that mushroom that's grown in China. It has humectant properties and hydrating properties for skin. We've got sodium hyaluronate, which is another humectant. We've got black elderflower extract, which is an antioxidant. Also has soothing and anti-aging benefits for skin. That's about it for the ingredient list. It's got a short ingredient list. So the whole ingredient list is right here. It's short. It could have a little bit more soothing or humectants in it to make it a little bit more exciting. That being said, some people prefer a very simple formula and a very simple routine. So I think that's more geared towards those people. I really like a longer ingredient list. Um, so anyway, the only slight issue I have is the potassium hydroxide and citric acid are pretty high up. They're the third, one, two, three, fourth and fifth ingredients. And citric acid and potassium hydroxide, their pH and buffering ingredients. So some people can be sensitive to it. So keep that in mind. Otherwise, it's a short, simple ingredient list. Most people shouldn't have an issue with it. Um, okay, in terms of animal testing, this was interesting. I did not realize Thayer's was owned by L'Oreal as of 2020, as of a few years ago. So Thayer's is cruelty free. However, their parent brand L'Oreal is not. So uh, technically, the brand is cruelty-free, so no issues with that, but you're still supporting the L'Oreal, which is the bigger brand, so some people that are really into it, the cruelty-free thing, probably won't want to buy it because of that, and it kind of, you know, it ends up being L'Oreal, Neste Lauder, and Shiseido, I think, are three of the biggest companies. They own almost all these little brands, and they're none of them are cruelty-free, so keep that in mind. I really want to do a uh, more highlighting some more of these independent brands in the future. So, um, okay. Next criteria is performance, and it drew an Ike, so it must my hand must be looking really nice and smooth if Ike made the appearance, right? Yeah, good boy. Okay, so this is a decent, simple toner. He's gone. Bye, Ike. I'm petting you symbolically. Nice, simple tone toner. It's mildly hydrating. It's not as hydrating as other toners I've used, uh, such as like the Claire Supple Preparation Toner comes into mind. It's simple, but very, very hydrating and calming and soothing. Or the I'm From Rice Toner. Uh, this one's slightly hydrating, so it's soaked in, and it feels nice. My s feels soft. It looks nice and soft, not sticky. Very nice, soaks in nice. Texture feels calming. Um, I think for most people with most skin types will be able to use this with no issue. For acne prone skin, there's only one ingredient of note and that's glycerol stearate. For very sensitive skin, again, citric acid and potassium hydroxide, keep it in mind. But for the most part, I think oily skin, dry skin, most sensitive skin and acne prone skin should all be able to use this without any issues. So um, I found it very, very nice and effective and efficient. Uh, in terms of the price, so this is a full size, 12 ounces, 355 milliliters, and it retails for $15, making it super affordable. This bottle will last forever. I'm convinced of it. And then in terms of the uh, it factor, overall, it's a simple yet effective toner. It's affordable, fragrance-free, it's cruelty-free. Uh, interestingly, I look for dupes. There's really no very similar or direct dupes. There's some similar alternatives. Uh, the Indeed Labs Menopause Cooling Mist, the Key Soul Care Tranquil Essence, the Elf Keep Your Balance Toner, which is probably the same as the Key Soul Care since they're both made in the same place by the same company, by the same brand. Uh, and then the Pixie Rose Tonic, which I suspect probably has some fragrance in it. 
So those are probably the closest alternatives to it. Um, overall, it's very nice, very affordable and efficient. So with a 10 being a perfect score of this one, a nine, the only thing I would have made a little bit more exciting was maybe a couple more humectants or some soothing ingredients or some antioxidants. But overall, it's a nice one. I think it's worth giving a try to. So anyway, interest hearing from you guys if you had a chance to check this one or if you've tried their other one. I think they might have a few more as well. And now they've got all different things, cleansers, moisturizers. So I'm going to have to check those out as well. So um, anyway, love hearing from you guys and stay tuned for more tomorrow. Thanks so much. Bye, guys.